In this video I will show you what variable shadowing is. I will start with serial begin, 9600. I will stay inside of setup and define an integer variable called x equals 1. Then I will print this variable x as decimal number. And so if I now upload my sketch, it outputs exactly one. So far so good. Let's say I have some if statement here. I will just always run whatever is inside of this if. And inside of this if I create an integer variable called x equals two. Now you may say Arduino will complain about this. Let's see what happens if we check or if we verify this code. It's valid code. You all know what would happen if I would just say x equals 2 because we already have a variable called x and then x will be changed to the value 2. But if we define a new integer variable x, then we create a new variable with the same name and we assign the number 2. So my question now is So is it 2 or is it 1? Well, let's see. So it actually is 1 and then it's 2. So for now it looks similar to this behavior, right? If we would run it like this, it looks exactly the same. But it's completely different and I'll show you why. If we create this new integer variable x, then by doing this we are shadowing the old x. And this is a completely different variable with the same name. It becomes clear when I do the following. After creating my new variable x and assigning the number 2 and printing it, I now print x again. And here comes the big question, which value will it have now? Well, let's see. One again. <laughs> um, and the reason is, here we are printing this variable. Here we are printing this variable. And here we are printing this variable again, because this variable is only valid inside of this scope, inside of this curly braces right here. The behavior is as if we would call it differently. Let's call it A. Now the behavior would be clear. If we call it the same, it's still a different variable. That's what variable shadowing is and it's an important concept to know because it can be quite confusing if you've never seen it. So, here comes your exercise. My question now is which number will be printed? Let's see if you are correct. The number is 5. Now why is it 5? I declare this variable a equals 1 then a plus plus increments the variable by one. So it is now two, a equals two. Then if true, so it will be executed, a equals five, we change our variable to the value five. And then if true, we also execute this code, int a equals six. This is called variable shadowing. It is not the same variable because we create a new variable with the same name and we assign six. Now back in our old scope, we work with this variable right here. This variable is no more. And that's why we're printing five. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.